So, uh, yesterday we talked about making this, which is a tuning head for a homemade ukulele. The idea sort of is to put together a series of these videos and, and building a homemade ukulele from bits and pieces I find lying around into a working instrument. Now obviously as I said yesterday that the head is one end of the problem and the other end is a way of holding the strings tight so while you tune up. Now I saw this on somebody else's um, website uh, and essentially was using a um, electrician's block to hold the strings in place. Now um, I thought that his solution was a bit untidy so uh, rethinking it a little bit I came up with this. There we go. Now that's made from a terminal block which you can buy in any do-it-yourself store and that's how it comes. If you really don't want to go to the trouble then uh, you can use a terminal block just as it is. This particular block is a 5 amp one, it's a little large, uh, I used a 3 amp in the finished thing. It makes the holes much smaller, uh, it's a bit more fiddly but it really works quite nicely as the strings fit a bit more tighter and when you screw the screws down they grip it quite well. So I went for a 3 amp. Now essentially, so how we go about this? Here's a terminal block, get yourself a trimming knife, slide it down into the block between the plastic and the brass and just hack straight down. It's fairly easy to do, particularly easy on the 3mm, comes out quite nicely. There we go. Separating it out, pliers, and just pull it free. There you go. So what you get is one of the inserts. You're going to need four of them. Okay. Take out the screws and save them because when it comes to soldering this thing, if you leave the screws in, you'll blacken them and you'll never get them clean. So just take them out. On that you'll notice, let's see if I hold that up for you. There you go. It's got a flat edge here where the screws went in and it's rounded at the bottom. That's a bit irritating because it'll make it wobble everywhere. So stick it in advice and flatten this bottom off. Again do that with all four. Now I had a bit of brass bar lying around and that brass bar is one centimetre thick looks about 0.2, 0.3mm that way and it was actually about a metre long I bought it at B&Q This is sized for a ukulele so in total it's three and a half centimetres long there isn't that much room available on a ukulele so three and a half centimetres is going to be about right What that means to evenly space the strings is I left three millimeters here and nine millimeters between the center of each of these and that leaves me three millimeters here so I get a nice even spacing for the strings. Put a bit of flux on top of your bar, stick these flattened pieces on and they'll hold but they'll only hold while it's not heated. It, when you heat it up they're going to slide everywhere so what you need to do is get a little piece of wire I used a 28 gauge magnet wire I had kicking around fed it through the hole here, underneath, put it underneath there, and twisted it. Now as you twist it, it'll tighten the thing down against the bar and hold it in place. Do that with all four of them, and you're ready to go. Now I did this while the bar was still attached to its original length. It just gives me a working piece, so that I don't have to hold this little, little piece and fiddle on with that. I've got a long piece that I can actually hold and work with quite easily. Once I've done that, I soldered these on, let it cool, sawed it off, and it left me with this. Then I gave it a clean up, and put the screws back in. 
drilled in the holes that you can see, and those holes will be fixing holes. And that leaves me with that. Now my intention is to put my tuning device on the body of the ukulele, and then that, sorry, will go up on the neck just past the nut.